Hello everyone. Hello. Uh, I'm Spencer Weatherly from Monstro City, of course. Um, and today we are looking at a kind of a more um, unique review of a uh, basically a 3D printed action figure that I thought would be cool to get and um, it does not disappoint uh, for me to say this is really neat I mean um, it's a 3d printed figure that is ball jointed but uh, it's only a little bit fragile um, which is the only major flaw to it uh, but that's no one's fault it's just the material it's made out of that makes it fragile it's a uh, fairly fragile figure and um, it is really nice looking too so this uh, figure comes from uh, something called Jolly Build and it's uh yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's from this website called Etsy, if you've heard of it. And, uh, yeah, that's the logo. It's, uh, really cool. Uh, how they or he or she, I, I don't know. It's, I think it might be a one-person thing. And they, uh, collaborate with other people people or something this is uh yeah yeah jolly build and this other thing called seven fish i think they were the designers of this or seven fish designed it i don't know it's uh but uh, long story short this is really cool and uh yeah i really like it so you're able to customize your own color and also the eyes. I personally chose the coolest eyes, in my opinion, what I thought was the coolest eyes, and uh, did not disappoint. And uh, I chose the color of pitch black. Let's uh, measure this figure. Um, this I did not decide to put on just yet because, uh, this is really, um, some pieces are really, really pointy. Kind of like the horns and the scaled, uh, body. So, uh, kind of pokes you a little bit. And, uh, it kind of hurt for me to attempt to put this on. I think they did give us a... Yeah, they gave us an extra, or he or she, I think it may, I, I don't know who, uh, if it's a one person job or anything, so I'll just say they, so they gave me a, um, an extra fin, just in case if this pops off, or the, or this fin actually I put on to here, I don't know, I'm just unsure. So, it's about two feet long right now. Um, yeah, about two feet long right now by, uh, aka 24 and a half inches. I think it was a 24 and a half without the fin. But let's just add that up. So, um... Yeah, this fin right here, let's measure it with our measuring tape, about 6 inches, so yeah, it's about 30 inches, actually. The fin also articulates too. You gotta be careful with this figure, see, um, just because they're uh, ball joints, ball joints pop off, uh, they're only flaw that I have with it is uh, 
getting it back together because it kind of hurts. Not too much. I'll live. I don't think I'm gonna die from this thing or anything. Uh, well, with that sinister face, I can't make the same promise that it's gonna kill me. Um, but uh, looks like an evil dragon. No, just kidding. Okay, so um, well, that's why I like to portray everything as is an evil entity. I mean, most of my action figures that aren't created, but well that are created by me actually are uh, are evil in my own little world of weird uh, science and fantasy fiction well not fantasy just just a uh, um, basically mythological fiction stuff medieval times but taking place in the future I don't know <clears throat> so yeah this thing is this dragon serpent whatever you want to call it is fairly large I really enjoy having it um, since it, there isn't much detail going on just the scales the scale uh, body and also the uh, thorns and the eye. You can see teeth. Pretty cool teeth. Um, there's some more horns to its head. There's the eyeballs. Uh, yeah, not much detail uh, put onto this. Uh, I guess I, I don't know. There, there is detail, but not too much. I guess you could count it as detail for the three D print texture it has. Texture um kind of fits this design. Looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, it's really cool. You can also see a tongue. Don't know if I should paint it. Or not. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, you just gotta be a little bit careful not to pop off the uh, ball joints. If you do, it won't hurt it or anything. Just don't force the ball joints. Just don't move them really fast. So, yeah, basically the articulation for this is uh, the head moves and what was that? what was that? I do not know what that was okay okay so yeah the uh, head moves the jaw moves basically almost every segment moves You can move it in any position you want, really. Just be careful. It's really fragile if you have one of these or if you do plan to get to one. Just be careful bending it in each position you want to bend it in. If you're snapping, I don't know if that's a good thing. It could it could just be a normal thing with this figure. Uh, since the texture is on the... Uh, since there is, I think, texture on the actual joints. As you can kind of see here. Let's get a more uh, light perspective. Yeah, there's these joints. But yeah, it's really, really nice. A really nice figure. I give it a 10 out of 10. I don't usually rate figures because I just uh, like what I see and I'll buy what I see. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, um. 
It's a really nice figure and everything. I'm bored. Well, uh, there's not much to say, so I guess I'll be getting off. Uh, thank you, Jolly Build, for giving me this figure. Uh, my order was not a regret. I really like this order that I made, and I am really happy with this dragon figure. And, um, well, I'll see all of you people later. Uh, I'm Spencer Weatherly from Monster City, and I want to make films. I just finally said that because I plan to make films this summer. I don't know. Okay, see you guys.